Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be very exciting. We're building an AI image service that can handle over 100,000 image requests per day. So we'll be using a Cloudflare to make this service. And the best part is you can use this setup in your own projects too. So uh, without further wasting any more time, let's start building this uh, application. And make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't already for building React Native applications. So first thing you're going to do is go to Cloudflare and sign up using your email. So I've already uh, used my Gmail account to sign up. And after you sign in, you will see this page. This is the account homepage. Then what you're going to do is go to sidebar and you will see this option compute and AI. So then you're going to go into workers and pages. We're going to create a worker. So a worker is basically a serverless function that will work on a cloud. In our case, it will be working on the Cloudflare's uh, servers and we just uh, provide a piece of code that will run on the cloud. So what we're going to do is first we will create, we'll start with the hello world application. So let's get started. Then uh, this is the sample code that comes uh, with this hello world script. Uh, I'm just going to change the name. So let's change this to image API like this and then hit deploy. Okay, cool. So once the worker is deployed, you're going to head over to the settings tab and let's close this and we're gonna go into the variables and secrets so to access uh, this function we're gonna add some authentication so user will have to provide an api key and for that we're gonna create a secret key so let's add it and set the type to secret and let's add the variable name as the api key make sure all of this is uppercase then you're going to provide a strong hash value for the secret. Let me just copy and paste it here. This will be our API key. So make sure to save this in your notepad or something. You're going to need it later. Let's hit deploy. Okay, so the API key is added. Now we are going to go back. Actually, we need to go to the bindings. So here we're going to bind an AI model into our function so that we can use this AI model into our function for creating images using the prompts. So for that, we're going to click on add binding. And here you will find all the services that you can bind, but we are interested in workers AI. So just click on this and then add binding. Uh, let's give it a name. I'm just going to add AI. So here you can see we'll be able to access it using AI variable name. Uh, you can see uh, the code example. We can use env.ai.run and provide the model name and then the prompt. So that's how we can use this AI model. So let's add binding. Okay, so the binding is added. Now we are going to click on edit code. Okay, so this is the sample code for our function. Basically, this is just a function and this will return this response whenever we hit this API URL. So this is already working. When we hit this API, this is going to return this response. We, if we can confirm this by changing this response. So instead of hello world, let's just say code with Nomi and then hit uh, I don't think we need to deploy it, so let's just uh, refresh. Okay, now it says code with Nomi. So whatever we put in this function that will be executed when we hit this API. So uh, this API URL is based on your email as well. I used code with Nomi dot dev at gmail dot com. So this will be included in your URL. Then at the end, it they will include workers.dev and this image API is coming from the uh, worker name. So remember when we created this worker, uh, we added the name as image API. So that will be included in this URL. So make sure to name these according to however you want this URL to be. So now the question is how we generate images using this worker. So if you go to my GitHub profile, 
uh, you will find this repo cloudflare image worker and uh, there you can find this sample worker code if you click on it so this is just a demo code that uses the ai model to build the images using the prompt that we sent while uh, calling this api so you can use this code i will provide the link of this github repo into the video description i've already added this into the vs code just to show you how it's working this will be working inside the function so what this will do is first it will get the api key then it will get the auth headers from the request then it will check if the api key is the same remember we created an api key in the variables and the seekers so it's going to check if the api key is the same otherwise it will return unauthorized error just like this then uh, we only need to allow post request so this is a condition for that then it's going to uh, get the prompt so it's going to get it from the request and if the prompt is not there then it will uh, throw an error like this and here is the uh, AI model that we're going to use to build the image using the prompt so remember we created an AI binding we named it AI to uh, to use this inside the function and here we are providing the AI model so you can choose from a multiple AI models here is a list of all of them and uh, you can just uh, use them and see whichever best suit, suits you so I'm going to use this one to test this and uh, this will be the model and here is how we can uh, use the AI uh, binding and provide the prompt then once we get the result this will just return the response with the image that is created and just in case if there is any error this will just throw an error and here we have a helper function json that converts the response to json type so now i'm just gonna copy all of this code and paste it into the worker uh, function so here I'm just gonna copy and paste this here and now if I just refresh we are gonna get the unauthorized error there you can see and the reason is we are not sending the API key that's why it's giving this error so before we provide the API key I'm just gonna deploy this so that we can access this outside uh, this Cloudflare environment so this version is saved now I'm just gonna copy this URL and then paste it here now you can see unauthorized because we are not sending the API key so I'm just gonna inspect this and go to the console here we will call this API with the API key so let's go to this github repo and if you scroll down uh, you will see uh, a curl request making uh, and request to this API endpoint using the authorization headers or you can use this JavaScript example to call this API so I'm gonna use this one so let's just copy this and then paste it here okay so what this will do is it will call your API uh, method is post by right? we need to provide the headers here we, you need to add the API key that we saved and then uh, we need to provide a prompt in our case this is sending a futuristic city in the clouds and then it will create the image and append it to uh, the document so in our case once we call this api we will see this image here so we need to replace the api url let's go into the cloud worker and copy this url then paste it here okay so this is our api url now we need to copy the secret key that we created earlier so let me just copy and paste the secret here okay so now when we hit enter okay cool so there we can see the image that is created using this prompt and it it's appended into the document body there we can see so now we can uh, use a different prompt to see if we can create other images so here I'm just gonna write let's be creative and we're gonna create an image of a frog wearing sunglasses 
then let's hit enter wait for a few seconds there we go so you can see the frog image so the AI model is working and the worker function is also working so uh, let me just show you how you can use a curl request so let's just copy this line and let's head over to VS Code, open a terminal. And here I'm just gonna paste this curl request. We're gonna have to change a few things. So uh, first we need to change the API URL. Let me, let me just copy this one. And then let's head over to this line. There we go. Then we need to change the uh, secret key. So let's change this one. And let me just copy the secret key and paste it here. There we have our secret key. Now we need to press enter. Just wait for a few seconds. Okay, so the API execution is complete and there we can see a new file image.jpg and there we can see the image that we requested for. So the image creation is working. Now I'm going to try to change the AI model to see what kind of results do we get using other models. So let's go to the compute worker and here you can see are we using this model right now. But uh, let's see if we change this to this one so we're gonna change the name of the model like this and once we change that we ju we're just gonna hit deploy and it will save the changes okay so the, this version is saved now let's uh, try this one more time and uh, this time I'm gonna create an image uh, let's just say a panda cooking noodles and then hit enter let's wait for a few seconds there we go so it's all cartoonish but it's working so you can try all these different models and see what uh, whichever works best for you so I'm just gonna change this back because I think this is the uh, stable one so let's deploy it again okay so you will see the results from this model to the lightning model that we used just now so if i create the same image using this model i'll just press enter you will see the results will be much better using this model let's wait for a few seconds there we go this image is much better than this one this was this is just a cartoonish image but you can explore all the other models and see whichever best suits your needs and use this in your use this service in your projects okay so with this we just created a powerful ai image service using the cloudflare that can handle massive traffic over 100000 image requests per day so if you found this video helpful don't forget to drop a like subscribe and share it with your dev friends maybe who loves building cool stuff thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one